Hi everyone, it's Tulu and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another video. So it's been very requested that I show you guys a really simple, basic eyeshadow look and also how I put on my eyelashes the super easy way. Like I'm telling you, it doesn't get much easier at all. Well, Personally, for me, it doesn't get much easier. This is how I've learned and how I do it the easy way. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And obviously, if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more videos by me. And let's get into the video. So for this look, I'm literally going to use three things. I've got an eyeshadow palette, then I have a flat brush and a fluffy brush. And that is literally all I'm going to use. You don't need to have this eyeshadow palette as long as you have similar colours. This is a Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. But honestly, any eyeshadow palette will do. This is quite expensive. So if you don't have this, then totally don't worry. Places like Primark do really good dupes for like the peach palette. And we are going to be using orangey brownie tone shades. So as long as you have something like that, then that is all good. So I'm firstly going to be taking my fluffy brush and using the shade Transition. As you can see, I love this shade and it is honestly one of the best transition colours quite frankly enough. So I'm literally just going to be putting this into the crease of my eye and the reason I'm using this quite orangey neutral shade is so if you go wrong it doesn't honestly matter. And I'm just going to build it up and making it a little bit darker in the corner of my eye and then blending it out more just towards the middle. And it doesn't matter if it goes below the crease, above the crease, as long as it's blended got a hair on my eye. As long as it's blended then that is honestly all that matters when doing an eyeshadow look. And always make sure that you tap off the excess on your brush because you'd rather have too little and build it up rather than literally just plonk it all on your eye. I'm now going to be taking the shade Bestie with a bit of Are You Kidding Me and they are just two brown, light brown shades. I don't want to go for anything too exaggerate. And I'm just, with the same fluffy brush, I'm just working that into the outer corner and just bringing it down a little bit. So basically into the outer V of my eye and just deepening it and of course making sure it's all blended out. What you can do is just wipe off your brush on anything that you have and just above it just lightly blend it out so there's not a harsh line connecting towards your brow bone and that is literally our crease done i told you guys it's super easy and literally anyone will be able to do this now i'm just going to take ploof on my flat brush and i'm just going to put a little bit of that on obviously tap off your brush as you go and then i'm literally just going to pack it onto my eye and i'm not going to go across my whole eyelid I'm going to take it three quarters of the way because then we will blend it in so it has a seamless look. But I always think by doing a matte with a shimmer on top it looks like you've done a lot of effort even though it really has not taken a lot. And obviously build it up to as much as you want and then I'm taking my fluffy brush again. The same one that we used before, there's only two brushes in this look. And I'm just going to blend out the top and the edges. Because when you start to get into cut creases and stuff, that's when it starts to get a little bit confusing. So if you just blend it out and make it look like it's supposed to be blended, then you are all good. We're going to try and keep the intensity on the inner part of the eye and then obviously it can blend out into nothing. Well into the matte shade. So now we are going to be doing the under eye. So I believe that this is really important when doing an eye look because it just brings it all together. So I'm taking the fluffy brush that we used before and I'm literally just gonna pinch it like this so it gets a little bit thinner. And then I'm literally putting it into transition again and just putting it underneath my eye. And again, we're focusing the intensity of the colour on the outer portion of the eye and blending it in to basically nothing towards the inner portion. And then we're going to take Are You Kidding Me, which was the darker shade of the two that we used earlier, and just focus that on the outside, again to just tie the whole look together. Obviously, if you have a small pencil brush or just a thinner brush, then you can obviously go ahead and use that for this. But because I'm making this a super easy look that literally only needs two brushes, I just thought this little trick of just pinching it together and doing it is honestly fine. So that is the lower portion of the eye complete. And now all we're going to do is go into crystal and we're just going to put a little bit of that into the inner corner just to highlight it and widen the eyes a little bit more. And this is honestly the eyeshadow done. So I'm just gonna go do this on the other eye and I will be right back. So now that both of my eyes are done, we are now going to move on to the lashes. So the lashes I will be using are my absolute favourites. They're the GWA Fantasy Lashes in the style of Princess. I don't know what just happened to my voice just then, but something just happened. And I absolutely love these lashes. As you can see, they're only £3. You can get them from Primark Savers 
online. Honestly, I think they are the best lashes and they're super easy to use. If you're new to applying eyelashes, I definitely say go with a clear band rather than a black band. If you don't know the difference, then this is a black band. and As you can see, the band is black. Pretty much that's, you know how it goes. Just feels like it's like a thicker band that is less easy to move. And I will say applying lashes. So my little trick to lashes are tweezers. I honestly don't know how people apply lashes without them. This is just what I find easiest. Obviously everyone's different, but these are my little tips to how to apply lashes. And by far the best lash glue that I know is the Duo Lash Glue. This is just the clear one. I think that the lash glue that comes with the GWA lashes is really good anyway, but this glue personally just works the best for me, if I'm honest. Grab the lash with my tweezers and then put some glue on it. You only want to do a thin layer, anything too thick will just cause you some issues. And a key part of applying lashes is letting the glue go tacky. So I'm just gonna pop that one down and then go on to the other one so that one has a little bit of time to go tacky. So once you think that the glue has gone tacky, you can go ahead and put it on the eye. What I will do is I will put it in the middle of my eye and then attach both the sides and just move it into place. The aim of this is to get it as close as you can to your natural lash line. That's why I think that the tweezers come in handy because you can really see when you're putting it on. And that's a lash on. And then you just want to play around with it as quick as possible before it starts getting really dry on your eye, just so you can get it into the place and the angle that you are happy with. And what I'll do is I will grab the tip of the lash and just push it into my eye bit just so I can make sure that it's all stuck down. Because there's nothing worse than putting a lash down and thinking it's stuck on all the way and it really isn't. That is that one stuck down. I'm just gonna repeat this on the other eye. See, with this eye, I'm doing it a little bit different. I'm going from the side and then I'll put it down just because it's on the other side of my face and that's just what I find easier. And it doesn't matter too much if you get glue on your eyelid because especially if you're using this glue, it is really good at just drying clear. So that is both of the lashes stuck down. As you can tell, it's honestly super easy. And as long as you work fast, then hopefully they will work for you. So as you guys saw, I didn't actually put on mascara before my lashes, and that is because I'm going to do it now. A lot of people do it before, but I think that's really tricky because especially if you have curly lashes, you're just gonna make them longer and curlier which means it's harder to get the lash on. So I don't really understand why people do that. But my tip is to wait for your lashes to dry down a little bit. What I will do now is I will do my bottom lashes on both eyes whilst I'm waiting for my lashes to dry and then I will go ahead and add it to the top. So now that my bottom lashes are done, I'm going to go ahead and just do my top lashes. I'm not going to brush through the whole lash of why just get mascara all over your false lashes and then they won't last for very long. I'm just going to do a few quick strokes underneath my lashes trying to get as close to like my lash line as possible if that makes any sense and then once i've done that i will go ahead and with the tweezers it sounds really weird but this honestly makes a world of difference and i will go ahead and squeeze the false lash to my real ones i don't know if this is just because i have really straight lashes or whatever but i just think this makes a world of difference because it really molds them together And that is this eye completely done. Do the exact same to the other eye. Try not to pinch your eyelid though. I've done that before and it really hurts. So I advise you not do that. So everyone, that is how I apply my false lashes and how I do super, super, super easy eyeshadow and just how I do this eye look in the really quick and easy way. So if this video did help you, then don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more videos and I will see you all very soon. Bye.